Welcome to the LCP Digital Learning Channel. Today we're going to go over how to app smash between Keynote and Slides. And what this is going to allow you to do is to use the easy sharing side of Slides using Google Classroom, but also being able to use the diverse catalog of shapes and drawings and things that are more creative inside of Keynote. So this is going to be an easy way to kind of collaborate the two into one awesome presentation that you can share with your kids. So let's jump right in. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring up a brand new slide that you're going to be working on. So for example, I have this sample one and this is just an empty blank slide. Now I'm going to want to split screen a blank Keynote. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to drag this little bottom bar up just about one inch until you see your app icons here at the bottom. If you do not see Keynote right here, you're going to want to head and go ahead and open that up first so that it shows up in your recently viewed icons. I'm going to take this icon Keynote, drag it up. Now you see that it's floating. I'm going to bring this to the right hand side until it gives me space, drop it in that space. Now I am split screen between slides and Keynote, and these both are just empty slides. Now, the reason I want to do this is inside of the Slides app, there is just very basic icons, and there is just very basic lines, versus Keynote has thousands of these really diverse icons, and I also have the ability to, to draw. And so what I'm going to do on this right-hand side is maybe I want to build um, some really cool examples of the water cycle. So I can come over here, I can make cloud. Okay, so now I've utilized the really awesome creation tools in Keynote. Now I would like to draw some arrows and draw some information. So I can either do plus, media, drawing, or if you have an Apple Pencil or a Logitech Crayon, you tap to draw. And so now I'm gonna use maybe some red arrows and I wanna show the different ways that this water cycle works. So I know that the water comes down and we get some water down here, then it evaporates up and then it condenses back into a cloud. I can even pinch in, add some information here add some information here, et cetera. So this is going to allow me to really add some really diverse dynamic drawings and icons. Now when I press done, I have two options. If I drag this slide image right here from this side over, what this is going to do is this is going to make this an image. You can see that it has a background that's white, but if I don't want this to be an image, if I would like all of this to be dragged over as a PNG, which means it's empty without a background, I'm going to touch my finger, drag until I've selected everything, and group. So now this is a grouped together drawing with shapes. I'm going to touch and hold till it floats, drag over to slides, and drop it in. Now you can see there is not a background. This is awesome because if I come over here and I bring in an image from my photos, so we'll just use this, doesn't really matter what it is. I'm gonna move it to the back. You can see that this image is empty. There's no background. So now I've added a really cool drawing over an image. This was not gonna be possible over here in Google Slides because the drawing and icons are not quite as diverse. So this allows me to use the creation side of Keynote drag over from Keynote to Slides, and now I have this built in to my Slides presentation that will be easily shared through Google Classroom. All right, I hope this quick tip was helpful to allow you to use creation on Keynote and with the built-in easily share ability inside of Slides. If you have any questions, please feel free to email help or reach out to your DLS on your campus.